All right, welcome back. This is once again Shadow Fury three three three. Now with the Ludum Diary thirty four game F Love. F stands for flower. It, honestly, it was not the best choice of name, but yeah, F stands for flower. So this is a game about flowers and about clicking buttons. War raged in neighboring kingdoms, displacing hundreds of ordinary mushrooms from their broken homes. Yeah, this is basically the story. It's a very, very simple story of you have mushrooms that are trying to kill your trees. And that's it. And you can give them love by clicking the left mouse button, and you can create flowers once you have mana with the right mouse button. Now, the tutorial seems to have a bit of a bug where once you're done with the tutorial, the game doesn't actually spawn any more monsters. Which it's supposed to, and that means I'm going to be skipping the tutorial. So basically, it's what you have to do is these mushrooms will come up. Where are they? So this area here, these mushroom areas here, will start spawning mushrooms. There we go. There's some mushrooms, and you hit them with the left mouse button, the projectile from that, and they die. And you can also use the right mouse button to set up flowers, which both stop them from moving very much. And they also spread the love, causing them to causing the mushrooms to die very quickly. It's a massive force multiplier. There are some units later on in the game that actually do destroy flowers rapidly, but at this stage in the game, it's really powerful because they're slowed and they get torn to shreds by the love getting repropagated. And that's pretty simple. I mean, it just goes from there. You have some basic mushroom attacks again. What are you doing not dead? And then when you're done, you can also repair the trees if any of them are damaged by hitting them with love. And yes, it's very whimsical and magical. I, I'm not entirely sure why the theme was so whimsical like that. It's like all love and flowers, but that's what it is. It's not easy though. Although admittedly I am in the highest difficulty right now. And I do think that the flowers do provide such a massive force multiplier that it's actually really a bit broken as a result. Like I can just set up flower fields on all the choke points and then everything dies. Everything slows to a crawl and dies. But overall it works out fairly well. It's just, I mean at this difficulty level you kind of have to. And in case you're wondering, I actually can set up wherever I'd like the flowers and things so I can deal with these new enemies which will explode into a bunch of tiny mushrooms. And then that allows me to get rid of them quickly and then get rid of the tiny mushrooms quickly because they're inside the flower field and get slowed down to a crawl and die. As is right and proper in the world because I hate mushrooms. I really do. I hate mushrooms. I, I can't stand mushrooms and food. I can't understand why people like mushrooms and food at all. They disgust me. Both on a conceptual level and by taste. So I'm perfectly fine with the theming of this game. I quite like it. It, it It's cathartic to me. Let's just deal these things inside their own base. Why not? Uh, okay, I think that was a pathfinding fail part of the game. Oh, come on. Nope, not gonna work. Well, let's kill this thing out quickly. And this one. Just make sure that dies, make sure that dies, make sure this dies. Shoot, I don't want these to get too close. They actually do have projectiles on top of their spawning on death. So I, I can't be too cocky about this. I can't be cocky at all. This is really difficult. It looks pretty and cutesy, but it's tough as nails. Even with the force multiplier, it's... Like, it hasn't gone that bad yet, actually. There's another enemy which is really difficult to deal with, which is basically just shielded. It's kind of the f equivalent of the Felon almost. It's shielded and it tears apart everything around. Actually, not quite the Felon, because the Felon destroys its own shields in the process of attacking. This does not. So this is even worse. Don't even have that saving grace of it killing itself in the process of trying to kill you. I need to give these trees love. One thing I noticed about this game, though, because you can only... you fire from that center pillar, 
even though things don't cost mana except for flowers, so you don't really have any resources around it, you still need to be very mindful about where you place everything. Because if you place love where you don't need to, it'll just be a waste of time. And that can be bad for timing. Like this tree, for example, I want to... Ah, it's too late. Although, thankfully, it produced another tree next to it. I think the gold again... These are the shields. These are the shields. They are a pain in the butt to deal with. Once you get to this stage... They, this is where it goes from feeling like, Oh, well, I mean, I can just deal with this because I have the force multiplier to... Uh, how do I do this? This... I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die so hard. Because they destroy the flowers. You pretty much have to target them directly in order to kill anything around them. And, of course, that's the problem, because it like, I need to prioritize by not targeting things too directly. Otherwise, it'll just take forever. But no, they tear apart the flowers so quickly that I can't use that force multiplier on them. And then, of course, overlapping shields becomes even harder. And they, it's just because that, that green toxin kills the flowers around them. Which doesn't do me any favors. But I'm not yet. I'll last through this. Do I have I'm curious what happens if I right-click a tree. Does that make it more powerful? Or more resilient? I'm not sure. All I know is these shield enemies are pain in the butt. And despite all the enemies I've killed, there's actually surprisingly no score system in this one. Unlike the other Ludumdara games that Spring Cabal has made, there's no scoring system here. I think it just lasts as long as you can, which at this point is basically now when I'm dealing with these shield enemies that don't die easily. And yeah, actually, oh no, I think another problem is I think I need to keep that center pillar alive. I think that's the key. Oh crap, these guys are killing everything. Those tiny melee mushrooms. It's easy to, to forget they exist, but... Eventually, they just rip you to shreds. Okay, I think this wave is over. It's just about done. Not sure, though. Ah. Need to kill everything. Need to kill all the mushrooms. Need to let the flowers win. The flowers must win! Are these silly decomposing fungus monsters? Okay, this is not going well. But I'll do this. I'll power through this. If I figure out how these shield mechanics work in this particular game, which I think is not too different from other spring games. Am I dead? Ah, I can deal with this very quickly. There's no shields there, the force multiplier is perfect. Shield's still here. Oh, shield's still here too. This is almost more pri more important, I think. I can kill that shield in two shots and everything else is dead. I can get rid of these shields. Come on, kill it. Kill it. There we go. Hooray. Got it. Get rid of the, get rid of the fungi. Oh, good. Respite from the shields. I grip everything to the shreds. I don't have to worry about shields destroying my... Precious flower force multipliers. And yeah, this force is not going well. Flowers are doing well dealing with this, but once again, more shields. More poison toxic shields. I don't know if you can win this. My guess is that if you hold back the enemies well enough, you end up winning by just having them die. Like, eventually they just get to the point where, oh yeah, this is the problem. They're hitting the main base. Or this main... the power structure itself. Let's deal with these guys. I can deal with them easily, so I might as well just get rid of them now. The shields are much harder to deal with. Ah, there we go. Got rid of them. Now it's ripping apart time. How much health does the main tree have, anyway? Oh, clearly not much. What? What's that explosion? Why am I getting explosions? Oh, and now I'm out of mana. 
And now this is the problem. This is where I die because I'm out of mana. The force multiplier is no more. And the shields are going to destroy me. I tried. My hatred of mushrooms lives on even though this particular session of the game does not. Seriously, I don't know if there's a win state in this. But yeah, that's... That's basically their Lumdara game. As far as I'm aware, there's not much more to it. It's pretty simple. Very, very tense. But pretty simple. Do I need 10 mana to make a flower field? I think I do. I think I'm dead. Yeah, this is not going to work out too well. As in, I'm already dead. I can't even keep that one... If I can keep one tree alive long enough, which I can't. Dealing way too much damage. Nope. Ah, that was... That sealed my doom. And that's game. Well, that was the Ludum Dare game by Spring Cabal for Ludum Dare 34. It's called F-Love. You can pick it up for free on the Ludum Dare website. And it's... Well, this is at the highest difficulty level, but yeah, it's a tough game. Like I said, I don't know if there is any sort of win condition if you get your trees far enough that it gets into these mushroom areas. It might work that way. I don't think so, though. I think it's just a survival game. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. That is that is going to be it for this entire stream tonight. So thank you for watching, and have a good night, everyone.